circle. I put in a circle. Okay, so tomboys are episode 10. Because <sighs> I was like, where the hell is it not going? I'm tapping the screen like, what the fuck? I don't like his motherfucking mama, y'all, child. I like, she should have cussed his mama the fuck out. First of all, who let her in my motherfucking house? So, um, it's too early for her to be cussing somebody out. And I was clearly was sleeping on the floor, so I don't understand why. Um, I don't understand why, you know, she was acting like they was, well, she caught them fucking some shit. <sighs> Was that all a dream? Why was I in the bed? Oh, I was. Wait. Why was I in the bed? Wasn't Alex laying there? Uh, I smell a wait a small hit. A, a smell hit my nose. Um, something was burning in the kitchen. Oh shit! Who trying to cook? What the fuck? <laughs> It could be wildin' bruh. Shit, the eggs are burning again. Wait, so was that a dream? What the hell? I don't know. Okay. When am I gonna get this perfect? What are you doing? I was trying to make breakfast. Well, it smells like you're burning something in here. I did. I've already tried seven times. What are you trying to make? Eggs. <laughs> That's the easiest thing you could ever make. Well, some of us grow up with chefs and butlers. And why are we sh um, why are you shirtless? It's really really hot in here. It's room temperature in here. Whatever, just show me how to do how to make this. So was that a dream or what the fuck? I'm confused. <laughs> Minute Later, wait, after minutes later of making breakfast and eating, what did you learn to make that, Alex? It's not that hard. You know that you're just, you were just saying crazy things last night. Like, what kind of crazy things? That you were stressed over this girl? I said that, <laughs> Alex. What has been going on with you? You've been weird lately. I haven't been weird. You're weird. There you go again. Well, truth is, did you leave, wait, did you leave the, did you leave the, the cooking supplies on the stove, on the other stove? Of course I did. Alex, you started a fire. I don't appreciate your lies. Get out of the house, asshole. And you just let the house burn down. Why didn't you attempt to put that shit out? Great, you're going to this thing. Oh wait, it's not that bad. Um, um, I mean, look at it. Huh? <laughs> Half of the house was busted into into flames, knowing that things have gone wrong. Made into ashes, they're long longer there. The walls were coming down and apart. Uh, it's funny how a little fire turns into a big commotion. What the hell, Alex? What do you what do you mean it's not big? Sometimes you make me so mad it's tiring. My life was normal and perfectly fine until I met you. Everything went downhill from there. Get some common sense for once. Get a grip card. You need to relax. I'll replace it with a bigger house. You don't get it. You can't replace memories and put <laughs> put on a shirt that I managed to grab on the way out. Don't put on that shirt. I'm Yay, Baba. <laughs> I see fire trucks coming 
towards my way, firefighters came out and began to put the fire out. My dad's going to kill me. You should see a look on your face right now. I'm done with you. I wish you were out of my life. I never want to talk to you again. Is that what you want? Then let's never talk again. You, you're, you wish I was out of your life? Then that's what I'll do for you. That's the only thing I've asked for. I can't believe I wasted my time on you. I hate you, Carter Blake. I hate you, Alex Parker. Carter, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you mad? Of course he's mad. I just burned down the house. Carter, honey, I'm just glad that you're okay. <laughs> no. A few days passed. We moved into a new apartment around the corner. I only saw a few rats. Just a few. Not a big deal. Girl, get the fuck out of here. I'd have moved out. I'm sorry. I can't love a rats, girl. Hey, I even named one Big Al. He's pretty huge. Alex and I kept our promises and still haven't spoken to each other, which I'm perfectly fine with. That was my number one wish. Getting used to a new home wasn't very easy, but I didn't have a choice. I need to rest. I hear rocks knocking on my windows, <laughs> signaling me to come closer. Okay, let me see. Where the hell is the damn biker? Here we go. It's just, uh, it must be those 14 year old perverts. Let's go see your uh, daddy. No. Um, Alex? What are you doing here? It's midnight. He climbed, he began to climb through the window. Why are you here? Everyone is asleep. Go home. I came to apologize, so if you could shut up for just a second, that would be great. I don't want to hear it. This was days ago, Alex. You're a little too late for that. Go give it to your daddy. I never picked up the courage. Oh wait, I never picked up the courage to say anything, Carter. I'm stubborn, and you know that. Stop. Listen, I'm sorry that I burnt your house down. You know I didn't mean to. I'm just hoping that we can be okay from now on. I looked into his eyes, seeing his, I looked into his eyes, seeing his piercing blue eyes full of sorrow. All right, fine. How do you probably made? Oh, oh, Carter, you probably made me one of the most happiest guys on this planet. I never meant to say that. I hated you. I gulped at the sound of his words. Alex, it's not like that. Not in, uh, like in the friend way. Sometimes I wonder if you understand what I'm trying to say. You're not my type. I'm going to say that until you get that in the head of yours. You're playing with me and I know it. What are you talking about, sweetie? Currently trying to hold in my punches. And sorry for being a pain in the ass at the hospital the other day. Stop. What? You make me want to smile so bad, but you're Alex, so I'm not going to. Can't tell you how much I want to insult you, but I'm going to zone. I'm, I'm in the zone right now. So, are we okay now? Duh, you douche lord. You douche tarred, my bad. <laughs> uh, don't think this will change our relationship. We're going back to Carter and Alex. Of course. I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Can I ask you something? What is it? Why does your mom want to run? Want you to run her business? I had a feeling you were going to say that. My grandfather was the founder of the whole foundation back when he was alive. He would always talk about how I would take it over. I was a child then. I didn't know what the hell I was saying. I was so excited about it and promised him that I would run it. 
Now that he's not here, it's a little more complicated. I don't want to take over anymore. I just want to live my life. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It doesn't matter now. I'm not going to do it anyways. You gotta go before you your dad comes in. And get your sleep. What are you doing up at midnight? What, no, what are you doing? <laughs> Y'all kids are crazy. Seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. <laughs> Come on, Bubito. Let me change you. Um, we have to present. Uh, we have to present today. Where the hell is Alex? Oh, oh. Now you're talking to yourself. Do you have an illness, girl? I... This biatch isn't going to be prepared for what's going to hit her. <laughs> Get your fire extinguisher ready because I'm ready to set your ass, your ass fire. Hell no. Getting ready to drop my mixtape. Oh, okay. You okay? They're out in stores, by the way, at your nearest grocery store. You okay? Okay, you're good. Shut your ass up, Emma. I wasn't born with a middle finger. Oh wait, I wasn't born with a with enough middle finger to let you know how I feel about you. You're such a failure. So was your dad's kind. What are you? Well, yes, on a scale of one to ten, <laughs> you have a problem. You're such a bitch. You don't. If you have a problem, then write a nice letter to me and shove it up your ass. Wanna go on one to bitch? Bubble the clown. Sit down. You don't <laughs> know what you're in for. I've been waiting forever for this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring, okay. I got bring it. Someone bring my gardening gloves because I'm about to handle this hoe. <laughs> Both of you are going to the principal's office right now. After your presentation. But Carter started it all. Does this mofo want to freaking die? Is this true? Well, you see, Mr. Richard, she came to me first and insulted me, so I said something back. Carter, swearing isn't allowed here. So, you, you, so you'll be going to the office after your presentation. I always get my way, honey. Get used to it. I don't like this. Like, punch this bitch. What the fuck? What was that all about? Do I really need to explain, Emma? Did you study for the project? <coughs> Wait, you're serious. <coughs> Alex and Carter, you're next. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you we present to you the worst project you could ever imagine. <coughs> to be completely honest with you, we did pretty good. At the end, everyone applauded. Not sure if it was because it's Alex or because the presentation was good. Most likely, Alex. Okay. It's 300, 320, 300. How did you do that? I have my sources. Before class. Um, give me your project tweet. Don't you know? Oh wait, don't know how you did it, but you did well. <laughs> you may go to the principal's office, Carter. Oh fuck yeah, bitch. What? Hey, principal, shuffle bottom. <laughs> Carter, using foul language at this school isn't allowed, bitch. Please. She said some too. <laughs> Huh? Mm -hmm. I was told you were that you were the first. All right, fine. What's the punishment? Turn TV on you to turn it off. It's, that's not a TV. It's a computer. Oh, it's a computer. Yeah. How you cut it off? It's just push pause or something. Just yeah. push pause. I'm not going to take you off the soccer team. Pray to the Lord. 
but I'm putting you in the school play. Bitch, you got me going. Uh, no, no. I, how I'm supposed to be at the damn library on the soccer team in the school play? You doing too much, bitch. Anything but that. We have we have a lack of people, so we're gonna need your help. Fine. What the role? What will be the role? I was going to put you as the back as a background character. What a relief. But again, we don't have many people that want to be the lead due to being shy. Damn them. Since you're a bold girl, I suggest you be the the lead role. Things get better and better by the second. Am I right? This story is irritating me now. Like, just fucking suspend me, bitch. Damn. With all this going on, I'm going to reduce your time at the library. Mm. Avi. Who's the lead male room? Xavier Parker. Mm-hmm. Oh, how things change. She's crazy. All right. I'm about to, um, maybe later. Do the next episode, you guys.